In this video, I'm going to show you how you can link Airtable records to the next and previous ones in a certain view using mini extensions. So here I have a table with five records. And right now they're just sorted by the name. And what we would like is in the next field to have a link pointing to the next record in the view. So one would link to two, two to three, three to four, etc. And then previous field, a link to the previous record in the view. Um, so five would link to four, four to three, etc. So let me show you how you can set this up. On mini extensions, just go to create a new extension. You can type next in the search bar and you find this extension here. Link to next and previous records for all Airtable records. Click on that, select the correct table, create extension. Now we're going to have to select the field to store the link to the previous record which in this case is called previous, and the one that's going to store the link to the next record, which is called next in this case. Um, and then you can just go to run. What's really important here is that you set a view in the filtering option. Usually for our bulk extensions, this option is not required. Um, but in this case, it absolutely is because you need to set a view to in order to get reliable results. Um, if you don't set a view here, um, your output is not going to be correct. So you need to set this up. And we actually have a have a note on that in the, in the setup screen of that extension as well. So once you've set the view, you can hit run extension. And then if we go back to Airtable, this has already been populated. So you can see record one has a link to record two, two has a link to record three, three to four, four to five. And then in the previous field, five has a link to four, four to three, three to two, two to one. So just what we wanted. So what happens now if we change the sort order? You can see we have this number field here, which has a different order. So if we change the, um, the sorting, now you can see these links kind of get jumbled up now. Um, so what we need is to update those. If we go back to mini extensions, now, what's very important, we need to set this in the advanced tab to override existing data because we already have data in here. So if we let this, um, if we leave this setting as default, um, which is to skip existing data, it wouldn't update it. So we need to set this to override and then we can simply run it again. If we go back to Airtable, it's already updated. And you can see now record three points to record two, which is the second one on our, on our list. And then record two points to record one, which is the third one, et cetera. And previous is the other way around. Um, so this works as expected now. So you can use this for a lot of different things. Um, for example, you could do um, compound interest calculations with this, or you could simply have um, sort of um, a link on a form to go to the previous or the next record. And I can actually show you this one. I have set up a few fields here. Um, this one is simply a field with an edit formula. Um, so that it contains a link to a mini extensions form for this specific record. So if I click on this, it's going to take me to um, the form for record three, which is the first one in our sort order. And there's a button to go to the next one. So if I just click on this, it's going to take me to the second record in our sort order. Now we have a button for the next and the previous one. So I can go forward again. Now I'm in the th um, third record in our sort order, which is record one, etc. So you can have, um, you can sort of navigate through through your records this way, if you like. Um, but that's just one example, obviously. So if you go back here to Airtable, the way this is set up is simply um, by having lookup fields to get the, the edit record um, URL for both the next field and the previous field. And then I just set up uh, button fields to just make that a bit nicer on the form um, that are just equivalent to these URLs. Yeah, so um, that's a quick example of how to how to use ex this extension. 
If you have any questions or need any help in setting this up, feel free to let us know and yeah, we'd be happy to assist you.